In a ring, there is a very special set of elements which are called nilpotents. So a nilpotent element is an element for which some multiplicative power is equal to zero. Now the interesting fact is that if the ring is commutative, then this set of nilpotents is, a, is, a, is an idea of the ring, and it's called a radical idea. So let's see how the proof of this fact goes. The setting is the following. We have a commutative ring. So an element x in R, as I said, is an important if, say, uh, x power n is equal to 0 for some n. Now, what I want to show is that the set of nilpotents is uh, an idea. So what we have to show, in order to show this, is two things. First, that n is an addi additive subgroup. So if you want that n plus is a subgroup, of r with respect to the addition. And second is the property that a times n has to be equal to n for any a in the ring. The interesting thing here is that we're going to use the commutativity of r for both these assertions. Let's start from the easy one, namely the quicker one, which is 2. Now, a times x, where a is any element of the ring and x is an important, but we want to show that this element a times x is still in n, so we need to provide uh, some power for which this is 0. Now, I will take the same power for which x is 0, and this, because the ring is commutative, can be written as a n times x n. And therefore this being equal to zero is equal to zero. Okay. Now for the first part I take two nilpotents and want to show that their difference is also an important. Therefore and is an additive subgroup. In other, words, in other words, I have to find exponents, some exponent for which this difference is zero. Now let me take, uh, take n1 and n2 such that uh, x power n1 is zero and y power n2 is 0. I take some exponent big enough, so I consider n to be the maximum between n1 and n2, mm. and I take uh, as a, I claim that x minus y power 2n is equal to 0. Now, if r, the ring, would not be commutative, I wouldn't be sure how to expand this power, but what we know is that in the commutative case we have the binomial, 
expression for this. Therefore, because R is commutative, we can write this with the binomial formula. So the sum from 0 to 2n, and now have the binomial coefficient 2n, choose i, which multiplies x to i and minus y power uh, 2n minus i. Now, of course, you see here that the two exponent, two exponents sum add up to i, uh, sorry, to 2n. So this means that, uh, well, if when i is small, then it means that 2n minus i, it will be at least n. And vice versa, when 2n minus i is small, namely because n i is big, then i will be at least n. So either i is at least n or 2n minus i is at least n. Therefore, here, either this element or this element will be equal to 0. And so we can conclude that this, uh, this expression will all be always be equal to 0. And this concludes our check. Now, when the ring is not commutative, uh, it can happen, and I suggest you to try to find a counterexample that this set of nilpotents is not anymore an idea. However, there are, there are some ways, also in the non-commutative case, to uh, define an idea which generalizes uh, this construction. But this, there are multiple definitions and the situation is slightly more complicated than directly taking simply the set of nilpotents.